Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the Cardia Mobile Portable EKG. So let's open up this bad boy. Instructions. And here's a little device here. More instructions. This is a oh, clip for your phone. And the device itself. And very, very tiny coin cell battery. Wow, there's not much to it. Well, let's get this hooked up to the phone and check it out. Alright, let's install the software. Uh, in the instructions, it says here, download the Cardia app from the App Play Store, App, app Store, or Google Play. So I'll go to Google Play. There. Install. What I'm going to do is uh, install my account and then I'll be back and show you how to finish the setup. Okay, now that my account's created, let's go ahead and set this baby up. Turn off Android NFC to start recording. FNC interferes with the signal coming from your Cardia mobile device. I'll be back. Yeah, it's actually simple. I have to just turn off NFC and payments off. Back. And um, the recording will start once it's connected to the, to the electrode. So let's do this run. I have poor, poor circulation in my fingers, so this may be a, a, a problem. Okay, so it's been a few days since I did the unboxing. I've been playing with this, and I just actually, just a few minutes ago, sent a um, uh, re recording of my heart into my cardiologist and they said it turned out good. Um, this is not a replacement for an EKG. You go in a laboratory or in the hospital. This, this is not as accurate as that. So always contact your doctor. Don't self-diagnose. So with some tips I learned about using this um, monitor. My hands are really dry from the scleroderma. See that? Dry there. The only way to get a good reading, you'll see up in the upper corner, make sure you always have three bars is to wet your fingertips. I don't use two fingertips, I use these, these two here. These two fingertips here, I use. So let's take a recording. And keep relaxed, don't talk, and just uh, keep your arms still. Let's go. Good, good, good reading. Now, I'm going to say this again. This does not replace uh, EKG in a laboratory or hospital. Uh, what happened is, in the, with this, is you can save this as a PDF file, email it to your doctor, or print it out. And uh, I find this device is going to be very, very handy for me, not having to run back and forth to the laboratory to have EKGs done just to see what's going on with my heart. I do have AFib and uh, some serious palpitations. I've had palpitations 25 years, and AFib just started about, uh, about a year ago. So anyways, I really like this device. 
Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere in stores in my city in Calgary, but these are available on Amazon. So I'll put Amazon links below. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.